the sort of heart of the war's vintage, uh, vintage port down here. We also have one, two, three, four patches of where we concentrate most of our experimental work in the Dura is down here. And as you can imagine, it makes a lot more sense to have an experimental vineyard, which is... We're going to film the test later. Okay. So it's a multiple choice exam. Mm -hmm. I want to ask, um, I remember at one point up at Alvito, you stuck... Um, Well, that's understandable. Not Can't please them all, can you? Might as well live with a few disappointments. Jamie, you know what that vine is? That's how they look? Well, it's got a reddish... Um, the... Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing when you Don't worry. Photoshop it. <laughs> Won't be a Taylor sign. Yeah. Exactly. Well, the great thing about Photoshop now is that there isn't a Taylor sign. That bit of wolf. We we got up we got up in the morning and cheered. We, we, yeah. we thought, yeah. they painted it out. Yeah. 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 There is. Well, there's, 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 the there's a track because yeah, they take the. the yeah. This is Trigonish now. Nice to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And scholar. And uh, the same uh, variety with different rootstocks. Whereas the wrong clone, this is a quite a radical thing to say, but it, I think it's true. Most of the Rorige in this valley is probably the wrong clone. This is Alicante Boucher. So the Alicante, amazing colour, so it's red flesh. That's cool. It's got red flesh, and if we, we look at the Suzanne, the flesh is not as red. The, the Suzanne has its colour sort of on the flesh skin interface, um, but the, the, the flesh itself is, is not as dark. Where in June, I mean, if you drink Alion or, 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 or Vega Cecilia, I mean, it's mostly Tempranillo, and it's a sensational wine, more acidic soil than they do. Oh, and the, oh, you've got them from all over the place. 24 clones. We've got 24 Rorige, different so. clones of Rorige. Some of the Rorige are close to each other and uh, you can get a lot of... Um, uh, it's a caterpillar. It's the, the European grapevine moth has a caterpillar and it likes the Polita Francaise and it lays its, its eggs on, on the berries. And the caterpillar hatches and goes in. And then basically, as far as I can tell, to get from one berry to the next, it needs sort of a bit of leverage needs to push off one berry to get it sort of snout into the next one. And because the Francaise bunches are so tight, the berries are all touching, which means it can just mm -hmm. race through the whole bunch. And it can rot from the inside out. And you can never see that the caterpillar is in there until you, you crack it open. So I've been trying to provoke fruit set problems during flowering, so there's more space between the berries, mm -hmm. thereby mm -hmm. slowing down the caterpillar's course through. You don't get any erosion there, unless mm -hmm. the, uh, the, the wall falls That's down. Cool, but. Yeah. But there, it rains, and you've got a flat surface, the water's just going to sink through. It's a fortune. It's an absolute fortune to build stone walls. So people started building vertically, like here, and like Taylor's there in front of us and all around, or the contour terraces. And the, the contour terraces are made with an earth bank. And these are just uh, relative, because the old boys would build the stone terraces vertical, flat land and vertical. This, we all thought, great, this is the solution, this is good. You get a lot more vines. You just get the bulldozer in, he makes the vineyard, and you plant it up and down. And then we suddenly realised that the soil was disappearing down the valley. And, um, and, and for a while, everybody just pretended it wasn't happening. And now, we've, the, we bought a machine. It was the only one, I think, in Portugal, um, so which is a little point, right? gadget. We, where do you, is it at Bonfim? Yeah. It's, um, it's a little gadget you fit on the ground, and you basically simulate rain, and it, the runoff, and you collect it. And, it's a really um, expensive shower. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For the price of this little tiny shower, which comes with this own little shower cubicle, which is about that sort of size, uh, you could refit your entire bathroom and, and gold plate your taps. But it taught us that, um, uh, and then we, we had big arguments in the company. Well, well, if you plant a cover crop, it doesn't rain much, you're going to take away humidity, which is desperately needed from the vines. And uh, we had so much erosion, we thought, well, it's worth it. And Miles ran an experiment for a number of years at Villa Velha, where 
on, on that. Oh, on this. As well. I did in, uh, you know the three that they yeah. use for, yeah. for the pruning? Yeah. It's like that, it's but rather than having little flimsy it's blades, sorry. they have big metal hammers that look like that. Yeah. So next year you're going to cut these down to two buds and then the following year they'll We cut them up. back down this pruning season, if you like, sort of December, January. Well, or later because we prune, we prune the young vineyards last. So sort of February, March. Basically what we would do, we would keep... You choose one bud, cane, yeah? This bud and this bud okay. and remove the rest. Because this is the strongest shoot, obviously. Um, keep the bottom two buds. Okay. Keep two in case during the course of next season one of the shoots breaks off. And with any luck, by the end of the next growing season, you'll have a shoot that you can tie off at the wire. And will that need irrigation next year? No. Yeah. It can't. We can't. Can't really afford it. Well, if we weren't planting anything else, we, we, we could, but it's not... Um, the second year is... It would have to be very extreme for us to need to irrigate. Uh, Only in that little bit. The bit below that scrub is a neighbour, so we have a little sort of bit that goes out there. A guy called George Moreira, uh, called Pueru. Oh, yeah. You see that um, um, that eucalyptus tree on the horizon? Mm -hmm. he For the moment, it's very young, and so at the moment, you've got a little bit of it. May be some soil variation.